Hey everyone, I'm the excellent dude, and yes, I know it's a bad pun. In this video, I'll show you how to create drop down lists in Excel that will make your life so much easier. So, the reason for using drop down lists is that they speed up your data entry, and additionally, the drop down lists help create data consistency. I'm going to be using a very simple car sales report for a fictional car dealership. So, let's begin. We can start entering sales data. John Smith is the salesperson, and they sold an F 150 truck. Then the next row, Jay Smith is entered and they sold an F-150. As you can see, even though it's the same person and the same model, they are entered completely different. Where this becomes a problem is when you start doing reporting on the data. So let's clear these entries and set up some drop-down lists. We will create drop-down lists for salesperson, model, and purchase type. We'll begin by creating a new tab. Let me just adjust the magnification to make it easier to see. Double click on the tab and rename the tab. I'm calling it drop down list data, but you can call it whatever you like. Now I'll create headings so I can organize the drop down list options. You don't need to, but I find it makes it easier to keep track of things. So let's enter the salesperson's names. John Smith, Jane Wilson, Susan Morgan, and Jim Douglas. And now the models, F-150, Mustang, Explorer, and escape. And finally, we'll do the purchase types. Cash purchase, oh, wouldn't that be nice. Lease and finance. So let's go back to the main report in the first tab. We'll click on the first cell below the heading in the salesperson column, then click the data tab up top in the ribbon. Select data validation and then data validation again. Then under allow, choose list. Click on the source and then go to the drop down list data tab where you'll highlight the salespersons and click enter and then OK, or you can use enter again. You'll then copy this to the remaining rows in the column. As you can see, the drop downs are now in all rows in the salesperson column. Now let's do the same thing for the model. Select data validation and then data validation again. Then under allow, choose list. Click on the source, go to the drop down list data tab where you will highlight the models and click enter and then OK. You'll then copy this to the remaining rows in the column. And as you can see again, the drop downs now are in all rows in the model column. And finally, we'll do it one more time for purchase type. Select data validation, then data validation. Then under allow, choose list. Click on the source and go to the drop down list data tab where you will highlight the purchase types and click enter and then OK. You'll then copy this to the remaining rows in the column. As you can see, the drop downs are now in all rows in the purchase type column. Now, with the drop down lists, the report is much easier to fill out and the data is consistent. Jane Wilson sold an Explorer with it being paid in cash for $30,000. Okay, let's just highlight this column and change the format to currency. Susan Morgan sold a Mustang with it being a lease for $35,000. As you can see with just a little bit of setup time, drop down lists can make repetitive data entry much easier. Thanks for watching this video. If you find my videos informative or at least somewhat entertaining, please give this video a like. And please consider subscribing and clicking the notification icon to be notified when I release new videos. Thanks again and have an excellent day.